So we have this fight coming up on the UFC Mexico card, and it's Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega 2. But why though? Why is Brian Ortega getting a rematch against Yair Rodriguez? I guess you can say because Brian Ortega had that injury? But the thing is, is that injury was caused by the armbar Yair Rodriguez had on him. And how is Brian Ortega ranked number 4 at featherweight? Who let that happen? I'm really hoping this will be the last fight Brian Ortega ever has. And he gets beat so bad by Yair Rodriguez that he literally retires forever and goes away. And that's probably going to happen because over the last six years that Brian Ortega has been barely fighting, everyone else has been getting so much better at featherweight. And I think a lot of people at featherweight beat him. Honestly, I don't even think Brian Ortega would be a ranked featherweight if he fought more consistently. And he's completely wasting that number four spot. He should be fighting someone lower in the rankings, not having a rematch, a title eliminator rematch with Yair Rodriguez. How? What has he done to deserve that? I mean, my prediction for this fight is an absolute domination by Yair. He's going to absolutely pick him apart bully him in there and finish him again and also it's gonna be a five round fight like i guess maybe that favors ortega i guess but even then it's not gonna help him he's still gonna get destroyed in the first three rounds so rest in peace brian ortega's career i guess because i mean on february 24th it's gonna end and we're never gonna hear from him again but if you guys disagree with me Please let me know why. If you're a Brian Ortega fan, a low T City fan, why do you think he's gonna win? Is there even a path to victory for Brian Ortega in this fight? The answer is no, by the way. But if you can provide one, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to the LCC YouTube channel. Goodbye, and have a great rest of your day. Let's go. It's gonna be a good day today, guys.